New ukulele models just keep coming and this is another one, absolutely brand new. Keep watching. Yes, welcome back to Got A Ukulele. It's summary video review day to accompany the full written review that you'll always find in the links below these videos. That takes you back to the main website where you'll get a lot more information. All the other reviews are listed there as well. There's also some links down there where you can do what these people have done, which is help me out uh, with very kind donations because I'm not a corporate site. I don't do these as paid adverts like some reviewers do. I just don't see the point of that. So these people allow this site to keep coming every week and my eternal thanks go to those. You can also help me out by hitting the subscribe button, ring the bell, you'll get notified of new stuff. And another thank you. Uh, this week, somebody called Ro McClure from Belfast uh, got in touch with me. She set up a site selling humorous ukulele t-shirts that have gone down very well in the ukulele world um, called uketees.com and she sent me this one. Really good quality t-shirts as well, Ro. Very, very good quality, not your cheap thin stuff. So they are at www.uketees.com. Uh, if you've got a brand or a ukulele related t-shirt that you want me to model for you on the video, this is commercial as got a ukulele gets. This is the only brand sponsorship I don't do. I don't do it for the instruments, but I don't mind wearing a t-shirt. Thank you very much, Ro. I love it. Thanks very much. Uketees.com. Uh, right, moving on. Uh, brand new model, this one. One that really caught my eye. It's from a brand I've looked at before several times. They've always done very well for this sort of uncanny ability to to have a, an excellent ukulele for really not a lot of money. Uh, this one looked like a more serious affair. Um, the brand is called Baton Rouge, and this is the new UTM-T Rico Timber model. Now, Rico Timber, I think there's a bit of smoke and mirrors with this. What they're saying is with Rico Timber is they're starting to use woods which are locally sourced, the sort of thing, as they say, that you'd find in your garden. So things like cherry and pear and things like that. Uh, all locally sourced woods, which is really nice and sustainable. With those sort of woods, uh, they're not traditional ukulele building woods, uh, so they also applying some sort of heat treatment they're basically baking the woods to season them quickly um whatever you make of all of that i judge these instruments based on what they sound like not on marketing spiel but it, that's what it is this is one of several in the rico timber series <coughs> come with various woods and various scales this one is a tenor and it's an attractive looking instrument and this is where baton rouge you think cheap brand cheap instruments let's just get into this the top is made of solid German spruce, solid German spruce, okay, that's good, and I really like it as well, very nice tight grain, uh, it's book matched in two pieces, so you've got this sort of dark stripe where the wood colour changes, I can't quite show you, but there's also what we call a bit of bear claw going on, which are little sort of ripples in, in the grain, which are really attractive, and the back and sides are flamed maple, not laminate flamed maple, solid flamed maple again two pieces nicely book matched nice stripe matching it's the opposites because that's basically split um so you get the opposite colors that change with the light as you turn it all solid wood all solid wood bear that in mind because we're going to come on to i love the stripe on the sides as well look at that all solid wood important the bridge is made of eucalyptus it's a pretty standard looking tie bar screwed in place bit of decoration a little bit rough on the finishing here which, which is a little bit annoying just needs sanding back a bit fifth seated in that is a straight topped new bone saddle the decoration is pretty relaxed um, you've got wooden uh, walnut binding to the top and back which kind of looks a bit lost on the back but on the top you get a purfling strip which sets it off as well, which is nice. Abalone sound hole ring, which kind of like some abalones is, 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 is nice and sort of blends into the top rather than, rather than looking really garish like uh, something from Elvis's bathroom. And a comfort edge. Now the jewelry's out with me on these. That's a walnut comfort edge. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd rather it sort of match the top color a little bit more. Um, but it's not as bad as some I've seen that look like sticking plasters. I'm not against them. I just think 
I'd do without it on this one. So there we are, not really a criticism, it's a subjective thing, but there we are. It's got one of those, I know people like them. The body is finished in a satin, which is nice and thin. A um, little bit of overpooling here, but not a great deal. I've seen, again, much worse. It's very good, very good finishing, actually. Um, inside, extremely tidy. Top is X-braced, notched linings, very thin braces on the back there, and that top is really thin. That's good, because what I say quite often is, at cheap end, I would take a good quality laminate over a solid for the sake of it instrument. And what I mean by solid for the sake of it are brands that stick a solid top on there and they put a really thick one on because they're worried about it splitting. This is really, really thin solid top. So it's really light. We'll come on to the weight in a moment. So an all solid Baton Rouge with nice thin top and a classy look. I like that. The neck is specified as being made of maple. You wouldn't know because it's stained dark. I usually don't like um, necks that don't match the body color, but you, that's usually because they, when they're the other way around, like paler woods and a darker wood here. I quite like this. It's like a sort of statement neck. That's in satin too. And whilst it tapers down to a pretty round back profile that I don't normally like, really nice roomy 37 mil nut, 31 from G2A with my measurements really comfortable neck that's topped with more eucalyptus for the fingerboard which is in great condition it may be an optical illusion but i think there is a very very slight radius on the top as well uh, it's not in their specs um but i can see it when i look down it it looks like there's a very slight radius i may be wrong very good condition 18 frets 14 of those to the body and we have these offset half moon position markers which are funky and different uh, being offset is not different, there's quite a few do that, but I've not seen these little half moons. They're at the 3rd, 5th, 7th, 10th, a double at the 12th, which puts one on the other side as well, and one at the 15th, and there are also side dots at 5, 7, 10, and 12 too. No complaints at all, really nice, great setup. Setup, incidentally, doesn't surprise me because this the, the, the distributor in the UK for Baton Rouge is a guy called Mark Pugh, at Stone's Music and he checks them all. He's a very, very conscientious uh, distributor. Um, so I'm not surprised that Mark checks these over. A really good setup, new bone nut, nice and roomy as I say. Uh, headstock is the Baton Rouge shape. It's kind of crown, but not crown, if you get what I mean. Facing the dark wood, don't know what the wood is, but it looks nice. Baton Rouge logo inlaid in pearl. The tuners, gold, unbranded, open gears with these sort of amber pearly amber buttons um they're they're, they're not the, the greatest tuners but they work okay uh, i'm not going to say much more about them i'm not really complaining about them but um there we are comes with a set of aquila strings as you can see comes with a gold strap button in the tail where the tail stripe is okay doesn't come with a bag i was going to gripe about that i was going to gripe about it saying come on you know you everyone gives you a bag these days and then i saw the price and i thought mark had sent me a typo all solid woods with nice decorations and bindings and armrests and um possibly a radius fingerboard 139 pounds what how how <laughs> I, I don't know anything else that's solid, a solid, all solid tenor that's anywhere near that. Carla are putting out their exotic series of woods, laminates, tenors, for more than that. 139. Yeah. Really? That's remarkable. <laughs> it's remarkable. It wouldn't be remarkable if it doesn't play very well, of course, but I can't really find much wrong. That's not to my taste. The build and finish elsewhere is excellent. No sharp fret ends, I should have said that. Not at all. Nice little interesting details. And sort of nice options on woods as well. You don't have to have the, uh, the flamed maple one. There's others. There's cherry and pear, as I say. All sorts of combinations. Um, local German solid spruce top, thin top. I'm rambling, I'm rambling. Let's get into playing it. I said the top was very thin. It is. And that means it's a really light instrument. 565 grams for a tenor is not a lot at all. As you can see, it balances just really nicely. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I, I, I'm, I'm staggered at that price. I am utterly staggered at that. Oh, what's my tuner doing? No, no, no. I see. 
seems to have gone into setup mode. Let's get it tuned up. Spruce is going to be bright, isn't it? Uh, maple is going to be bright as well, so you'd expect a bright sounding instrument. But again, you know, there's no hard and fast rules on that. It also depends on the build and the bracing and stuff like that. But it is bright sounding, I can hear that. Okay, first of all, the volume. Terrific, really good volume. Sustain is good. It's not the longest sustain I've ever heard, but it's it's not bad. Perfectly passable. Volume's great. Bear in mind on that sustain, this is a solid wood top, solid instrument. That's going to open up over time, and this will change the more you play it. But I'm liking how crisp that sounds. Should we start that again? edge to it. It's harmonizing with itself, but they're really clear the notes. It is a bright instrument. Maybe some of the other wood instruments will sound a bit different if they do one with, I don't, they don't do a mahogany back because that's not the Rico timber point. But I'd love to try the others, but I like the sound of that. It's dead resonant. It's just plays itself. Let's have some finger picking. clear and crisp. sounding that's really crisp a bit too bright for a tenor for me but that's purely a subjective thing I know people love those bright crisp tenors and it, it's got that the volume is excellent so this instrument is very very cheap it's not a solid wood for the sake of it instrument it's the solid wood instrument done well with locally sourced woods as well um, dead thin top dead resonant really well put together I, I don't I don't get the price. Not in a bad way. <laughs> I just don't get the price. How? 139? Tell me if I'm wrong. What, what am I missing? I went back through some of my reviews for all solid tenors. I can't find anything in the stores either where you're going to get something that's all solid. Unless you're going to throw at me one of those uh, Amazon ones that they do. That um, Yeah, if you want to play that um, roulette game, knock yourself out. I wouldn't recommend it. Wow. The Baton Rouge. Rico Timber series, UTMT tenor. Uh, thank you to Mark Pugh for getting this one to me. I don't think these are really yet. Well, are they for sale? Then they're just about going for sale now in the shops. Um, it's, it's, this is pretty remarkable <laughs> for the money. That's a really good little solid tenor with some nice decoration, a terrific sound for a price that uh, I, I don't get it. 139 quid. Here we are, rambling, rambling, rambling. You won't be surprised to see in the summary review that I've given this a very good score because how could I not 
this is this instrument plays and looks and is built like instruments that cost two or three times the price that's the deal that's why it gets 10 out of 10 on value for money because it is it's it's you know this is superb absolutely love looking at this one uh great right thank you very much for watching and your ongoing support um remember uktees.com i really like this it's, it is really good quality as well i, just, I didn't i want to make that point some t-shirts can be really thin and nasty i uh, hope you have a great weekend ahead i don't know what's coming next week because i'm waiting on something that's been stuck in customs so possibly something that's coming from abroad but if it doesn't arrive i'm gonna have to shift it to something else but i've got something lined up for next week in the meantime i hope you all have a wonderful time and week ahead look after each other and look after yourselves take care everyone bye bye